hello guys welcome to my channel today i'll be preparing plantain chips and uh, you can prepare your plantain chips with a uh, ripe plantain or with green plantain so today i'm craving for plantain chips i'm going to show you guys how to prepare it thanks for watching so this is how you pick your plantain uh, you cut it like this you open this top and you cut this one and you're going to run a straight line here in the middle you just open it up like this you open this side and you're going to pull your plantain out and you're going to trash this one here and you're going to do the same with the grain plantain also Sorry, I'm doing it fast. I'm used to it. <laughs> this is not my first time doing it. That's why I'm doing it fast. But the green plenty is a little hard to come out because it's not ripe. So you have to like try to open it like this with the knife. And you do the same. You keep opening it like this. So you can come out. But if it's hard for you, what you do, you cut it in the middle. No, it's easier when you leave it like as a whole. So guys, you notice that the peeling of the green plantain is more than the peeling of the red plantain. Red plantain is easy to come out of the, the shell. But as for green plantain, it's a little hard. So you have to keep doing it to see how it looks like this. So I'm going to trash this one. So after you finish doing it, as uh, you you have to clean it like this. Just bring the knife down along it, so it can look smooth. You clean it, then you this one here, you trash it out. Then now you're gonna wash it and cut it. I'm gonna show you guys how to slice it. So guys, we're just gonna take out the the ripe plantain and keep it here. On this side then I'm gonna show you guys how to like prepare the green plantain but this is what I'm gonna be using but if you don't have this to slice it you can also use your knife so guys if you slice your uh, plantain very little and smooth like teen it's, it, it tastes better but that's also okay if you like slice it um, uh, a little uh, let me show you guys how to do it with uh, the knife you do like this you cut it you do like this and cut it just like this and cut it but this take longer so what I usually use I usually use this here to slice my plantain so this is how you do it You do like this until like everything will come out. You see how it look? So you keep doing that. Let me do this, then I'll show you the result. So guys, this is how it look after using this to cut it because it's faster. So I use this to like slice it. So this is the green plantain. I'm gonna take this out of the bowl and uh, do the red plantain like that also. So guys, I wanted to show you something. Uh, when you when you use uh, the knife to slice the red plantain, it look better than when you use that. Uh, let me show you guys. Then when you use this for the red plantain, so I advise you guys should not use this for the red plantain. You should slice it with the knife. It look like this, but you can use this for the green plantain. It's better with the green plantain. So let's um, continue. So guys, you put a little oil in your plantain. And the reason why you add a little oil to the plantain and help so that the plantain should not stick together when you fry it in the pot. If you don't want your plantain to stick together, you add a little oil to it. Then you take little salt. It's not even half a teaspoon of salt. It's smaller than that. You put it on your plantain. It all depends on the size of the plantain. You don't want to put a lot of soot. Then you just stir it around with your hand. And make sure you move it from together like this. And let the oil penetrate, like go in it. 
then it will help you when you fry it the planting will not stick together because if you don't do like this you put it in the pot it will stick together and as the result you not have that have that uh chips that you desire it will be softer it won't be like uh do i say crunchy that's how they call it yeah so you do like that guys and you do the same with the grain planting add the oil then you add your salt you if you want to join the grain planting and the red planting together that's all right also but i like to like do it separate then you add a little salt to it and just tell it and turn it around make sure you add oil to it so that it can help uh with the frying because when you add the oil to it it helps for the planting not to stick together in the oil when you fry it so guys we're going to add some oil to the pot to fry the plantain chips the plantain i'm going to use this small pot because i'm not frying a lot just frying to eat it right now so i'm going to start frying the uh, green plantain first so you guys can see how it looks so guys i forgot to show you guys something i like to taste garlic flavor on my plantain chips so I'm going to just drop a whole garlic in the oil. It will make the plantain not have that garlic flavor. So it's going to fry with the plantain. If you want to make it, uh, you can also add, uh, uh, what's the name? Onion to it if you want. Just a, just You don't slice the onion. You just drop a big piece in it, in the oil and you fry your planting chips along with it it tastes better but if you don't want it like that also you can fry without garlic or without onion so we're going to allow the oil to get hot then we'll start the frying process so guys i'm just going to add my planting to the oil so you can fry so after i fry i will show you guys the result how it looks you can make it brown if you want or you can make it like you don't have to make it brown but i love mine to be brown so um yeah i will show you the result after this so guys this is the result of the planting chips I love to eat mine brown. It tastes better when it's brown. But you can do what, uh, whatever way you want. Uh, but this is the result of the planting chips. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is a snack. You can prepare anytime. It tastes good. It tastes like another chip. It's better.